What's up my stat stars? When it comes to experimental design, there are four huge pillars or four huge principles that all well-designed experiments must have for them to be considered, well, well-designed experiments. And the first of those pillars is comparison. You must have at least two treatment groups to compare together to see does one of those treatments make more of an impact on the response variable that you're measuring. So the whole point of an experiment is to see does an explanatory variable have some type of impact on a response variable. And that explanatory variable must have at least two different treatment groups or at least two different treatment levels. Again, I keep saying at least two. You could have three, four, five, six if you want, but you have to have at least two. Now, one of those groups could also be considered a control group. A tr control group is a group that gets nothing, no active treatment. Now, if you're working with people, you might want that control group to get a placebo to control for the placebo effect. A placebo is essentially a fake pill with no active ingredient in it or a fake treatment with no active ingredient. Now, the reason we want to use that with people is because we want to prevent something called the placebo effect. But it's important for you to understand we actually cannot prevent the placebo effect, but we can make sure that everybody experiences it. Let me explain. The placebo effect is the idea that when you are involved or a human being is involved in an experiment, they're going to immediately think that something positive may happen when they get something. Or if they know that they're not getting something, they might experience a negative impact. And we don't want that to happen. So we want everybody to think they're getting something. So that's why we give that control group something fake. That way they think they're getting something and so does the other group. Now sometimes you can't hide what you're giving them and a placebo can't be used. But with human beings, a placebo is a great idea or a great concept if you can use it. But let's go back to the idea of comparison. You have to have at least two treatment groups. That is the first big pillar when it comes to experimental design. And you want those two groups to be treated very, very, very similar other than what the treatment is that you give them.